Hello everybody, it's Josh. How are you? I am here at uh, Wegmans on a chilly morning. I'm at the Disneyland of food, starting my Friday right. And uh, I saw a movie last night, as is the uh, custom of the day for me. And um, it's called A Real Pain. And this is the second film directed by actor Jesse Eisenberg. And a um, lot of buzz around this movie and a trailer that was ubiquitous when you went to see like the artsy independent movies. And it's, uh, it's uh, Eisenberg and, and uh, Kieran Culkin playing two cousins, young uh, Jewish dudes whose Polish grandma, Polish American grandma passes away. And part of her will and testament is to send them on a tour of Poland to see where she came from and to also see the concentration camp in which she was interred. Uh, and um, so they go on this journey and we meet these two characters. And uh, this movie is as excellent as you may have heard. This is, um, you know, it's a quiet movie. It's about some serious things, but ultimately it's, you know, we've seen a lot of movies about the Holocaust and there are some sobering moments in this movie as they're confronted with certain things. But this is also a, a character drama, a dramedy really, because there's a lot of humor here. And it's, it's about characters. <clears throat> and it's very small and it's very like, it's not trying to, do anything huge. It's just trying to be like a, a human moment that you can experience, an empathetic human moment. And um, it's excellent. This is one of the best movies of the year. In fact, I want to qualify what I mean by this statement, but I would call A Real Pain a perfect movie. It's not maybe my favorite of the whole year. It's maybe not the most important of the whole year, but there's not a false step in this movie. It is written very, very well. It is competently made. It's it's lovely. There's nothing showy about the way it's directed, but it's acted so beautifully. And we're basically spending time with these two cousins who've grown apart. One of them, Eisenberg's character, is a, uh, a professional, you know, successful, has a wife and a family, lives in a brownstone in, uh, in Brooklyn or wherever it is. And um, Kieran Culkin's character is more, uh, he was closer to the grandma, and um, he has been hit really hard by her death and to, the, to a pretty grave degree we come to discover. And uh, whereas Eisenberg is uptight and anxious and a rule follower, uh, Culkin is a free spirit and a kind of, uh, you know, he's, he's the life of the party to an awkward extent, but he also is, you know, masking some real darkness. And these are familiar cinematic character elements, but they're just handled so deftly here. And this is gonna sound weird, but it, it only hit me while watching this movie. Another reason that it resonates with me, I am not Jewish. However, I am half Polish. Uh, and, uh, you know, so um, the Kwiatkowskis come from Poland. That's my mom's side of the family. And uh, I have been to Poland. And in fact, I have been on a tour not completely similar, but not dissimilar to the one that they, they're on in this movie. Um, been to the camps, been through Krakow and, um, and uh, other places. This is a long time ago. I went with like a college singing group and we toured uh, Poland and Germany and, 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 and on a separate trip, Austria. And um, I got to see Europe when I was like college age and I haven't been out of the country since. So it was an amazing opportunity. It was kind of like we were herded from like church event to church event, but we did get a chance to see Wittenberg and where, you know, Martin Luther nailed the theses. But we also, in Poland, we went and toured Auschwitz. Uh, there's a different concentration camp that is toured in the film, but uh, it, it just immediately took me back to that. Uh, if you ever have that opportunity, it's incredibly um, difficult but uh, it's a life-changing experience. Um, and the, the personal connection that these characters have in their Jewishness and also in their grandma's story uh, is, is, you know, even more um, potent. And, but it's also not, it's, it's, it's one of the elements of this movie. It's more about a relationship than it is about all those things. That's just the trappings. And, in, and in, a lot of it is about how modern, kind of comfortable American people walk around with that kind of, uh, you know, with a Holocaust legacy uh, hanging over them. 
and as part of their heritage, but, but somehow feeling guilty that they didn't suffer as much as previous generations. But how does that work? Shouldn't you be celebrating the fact that you are not suffering? But you know, all that kind of give and take that we have when we struggle with legacy and all that. This is, but again, this is not, those themes are here, but this is also just kind of a small comedy. It's very, I, I just was so, I enjoyed every minute of this movie. This is a great little movie. Jesse Eisenberg, um, already, you know, a, um, an actor that you're happy to see, usually, usually, uh, and, uh, n never his fault when you're not, just, you know, um, but, uh, here cementing himself, you know, what an interesting year, we got, uh, actors directing movies seldom is like, you know, seldom pops, and Anna Kendrick made a, a lovely, uh, also dark little movie this year and now um jesse eisenberg has directed one of the best movies of the year i don't know what to say and kieran culkin's performance is next level uh i i would imagine it'll be in in awards discussions uh we'll see very soon i guess but um i guess there's not much else to say about a real pain but uh this one's a winner it does have, you know, uh, some of that, those dark themes, but again, it's not about that. It's not a Holocaust movie. It's, it's a, um, family relationship kind of, uh, road trip movie. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of interesting characters on this, the tour group they end up on and their dynamic kind of interweaves with the dynamics of some of these people in surprising ways. And so, um, what a, just what a treat this movie is. I can't wait to see it again. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, I'll be back soon with more stuff. You can, uh, here's a couple of things I always forget to mention. I always mention Patreon and you can be a member on the channel and I have a podcast. I mention all those things. You can follow me on social media. You can also see my podcast feed uh, for, a, for a late night rant about why I, uh, I gave up social media uh, on November 7th. Can you do the math and figure out why? Um, but I'm, I'm kind of crawling back. I've curated, I've muted things. I've ga I deleted Twitter and I'm on blue sky. It's where everybody's going now. I've been there for a while, but now that it's actually like taking off, I'm, I'm going back. Um, and, uh, I'm there. I thought there were some other things that I wanted to talk about, but I don't know. I'll talk to you again very soon. So I'll try to remember then you can follow me in all the places you can support and like, and share and all those things, or you can just watch the videos as they're published. And, um, I'd love to know what you thought of this movie. If you saw it, what movies have you been seeing? Um, let me know and I'll talk to you again very soon. Josh out.